So I'm getting ready for work, but I decided I have three different things here that I will record for its own little video. So yeah, I did my, my eye makeup. I'm going to work today, so I'm not doing any other makeup. So we got three different things to unbox in this video. Three small things. That's why I decided to just put them all together. Anyway, so this is my Natty Knickers subscription. So you do get, well, I get three different pairs of panties. I think they're $3.99 each. So I'm not going to take them out of the package because I'm leaving for work. So it's not like I can wear them. I have to wash them first. But so I get them in the size extra large. And the first one, does it show what type it is? Mm, no, it just shows the, the sizes. So we have like this pink pair without kind of a, a big waistband there. This looks like a satiny without a waistband at all, and it's black uh, flowers on it. And then we have a pair of lace, see-through, it looks like green panties. So that's cute. I think they're $3.99 each when you get three of them. Okay, so that was the first, first unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it. Next, we have, uh, I'm going to do Copacetta Cosmetics. So... I got my Copacetic Cosmetics for this month already. If you remember, it wasn't too many videos ago where I did my where I did my March one. Yeah, so this has to be for April. There's no card in it, and to be honest, this one's a little bit lackluster because I'll show you why. The first thing, the first thing that you get is a ring that you can bend to size it. So I don't wear rings anyways, and. I don't see any information about what it's made of, so I mean it looks cute, but I will probably that will probably end up in a in a giveaway. So the next thing we have here, this says spring spring forward. Yeah, so it looks like it is a little spray bottle. I assume it's a perfume. I didn't read up about it or anything, and if you've been here before, you know I don't really like scents. Especially when I don't know what they are. I don't want to give myself a headache. So we're going to leave that alone. Okay, the next thing we got is a lip gloss or something. It says Tulip. This doesn't even have any information on it. It doesn't even say the name or anything. It doesn't smell like anything. So let's put this on the back of my hand. It feels like a gloss. So it's a, it's like a sheer red, reddish color. So that's cool, you know. But again, lipsticks. Okay, and then the next thing we have, this kind of looks like a multi-chrome, actually, type of nail polish. So it is very pretty. I don't really wear nail polishes, though. I mean, if you see my nails, I bite them. Back to biting them. I don't know what happened. I was really good about not biting them and growing them out. I really need to do that again. Very pretty color. So I, I will either keep it or I will put it in a later giveaway. And then the last thing we have is the eyeshadow palette. This is the small box that they've been sending them in. So good on them for saving packaging, I guess. So this is the quad that every subscription box comes with. Now I will say this one color, this blue color is in here. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing I opened it level because it would have fallen out because it was not pressed in the pan right. But super pretty spring-like colors there. Let me open up. There we go. Very nice. I do like the blue. It's I don't know if that's a multi-chrome or not, but I'm going to swatch these on my right hand because my other one has all sorts of stuff on here, but just putting this first orange one, is it orange? No, it's like a peach, like a peachy metallic, super pretty. And then we got that blue. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I'm so glad that it didn't fall out. So it looks blue, but then it also has like purple reflex and maybe even a little green. Okay, I'm going to have to read about this later on. And I'll uh, write about it in the description below. And then we have like a green matte. Ooh, and that, that swatch is very nice. And then we have this pinky. It looks like the same formula as the bluish. Ooh, okay, so that's like magenta purple. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can get this here. Very nice. Oh, I like, I like those a lot. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so obviously I'm not using that now. I'm not going to take that to work with me, so that's just going to be left here for right now. The last thing. <laughs> okay, so I got this. I follow a person named Victoria Lovelace. 
She's uh, the cutest little goth chick ever. She made an announcement saying she was coming out with her second palette, and I thought I was buying the second palette. Like, seriously, I thought that was what was shown on the website. It's like a reddish, a reddish color story. But apparently I bought her first one. So I don't know what happened. She did offer to refund a little bit or something and then send me that red one when it came back in pre-order because apparently then I had already missed the sale for that for that new one I, it's it's all fucked up and you know we were going back and forth in emails and I'm like fine just send me send me the original palette that's fine so actually I'm gonna have to look up right now and see how much this one cost I'll be right back okay I'm back so I looked it up on their website her Cosmetics company is called Lovelace Cosmetics. Now this is the Drink For Me and Live Forever palette because she loves Interview with the Vampire and I will say I love Interview with the Vampire too. Uh, it was actually one of my favorite books and then they made the movie. The movie was okay. I do like Anne Rice. But anyway, so this fucking palette. Okay, you do get 12 shades. It's $35. I'm not really impressed. I haven't used the shadows. I've swatched them. I'm fine with the shadows. They remind me of basic color pop quality, like decent. They're decent quality. Is this worth $35 though? Let me, sh let me show you. So I'm gonna show you the back. Okay, so this is the back. It's kind of holographic, you know, nice, nice. This is the front. Okay, so you have fan art. It says drink for me, live forever, eyeshadow palette. And it did come with the sleeve and the sleeve was like this. It did not have the art on the front. This is a this is a fucking sticker. Look at this. You can just tear this right off. Like, stop it, Trixie. My dog is. Okay, so all that is is a sticker. It's just a sticker. Is this is this indie brand quality? You know, is this palette thirty five dollars? I don't think so. So I will use it and it's not like I'm going to like try and get a refund or anything, but I'm not ordering that red palette. I tell you what. So yeah. Yeah. So cute. I tried it. Not impressed. The sticker you could, I mean, even without pulling it off, it was already curling up on the edges. Like it's not made well. It's not made well. She should have just left, left the sticker off, leave the sticker off. You don't need it. It's fine. Put it on the, the outer packaging, the sleeve. That's what you could have done. You could have put this on the sleeve. People keep sleeves. It would have been fine, in my opinion. This is the color story right here. You got mattes, you got shimmers. Yeah, I, this is just... I have all these colors probably in other palettes, so... I just look at it like it's a $35 loss. So $35 loss, probably never going to order from from her line again. I'll enjoy her videos, but that's it. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Remember, it's makeup. It's not that serious. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean your liking of something is wrong. So thank you so much for watching. Again, please remember I upload every single day at 10 a.m. So I will see you tomorrow morning. Okay, bye.